with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Oh, do you ever be at an airport? Whenever I've been at an airport, right, and I see the, you know, the first class lounge. Oh. Do you know what I do? Basically, you go up to it and you stick your foot up against it and you go, oh, if only I'd worked harder in my life, I could be in there right now. That looks so nice. They have really comfortable chairs in there. And that bar looks lovely. That's the closest I've ever come with my, just my face imprint on the glass. They always have a lovely glass sliding door, don't they? And you say, oh, they do that so you can look through and go, I wish I was in there. But I'll just sit here on these rows and rows of rock-hard chairs waiting seven hours for my flight. Well, let me tell you about some VIPs in our region who are getting the exact treatment that they should be getting. And that is the staff at James Cook University Hospital in Middlesbrough. They are in for a treat this week because the Project Wingman Lounge has been set up at the hospital to help staff relax from their frontline jobs. And it's staffed by... Uh, genuine pilots and crew from several UK airlines who have been grounded over the past few months, furloughed or even made redundant due to the pandemic. And they are dedicating their time to these absolute VIPs. Derek Smith is Project Wingman team leader and is here to tell us more. You're right, Derek. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm uh, very well, thanks. And oh. uh, just like to make the comment that uh, I also have pressed my nose against the first class lounge and have never actually been in a real live <laughs> one. So there you go. <laughs> so other than helping out staff, this is another reason you're doing this. <laughs> you yes, can... exactly. <laughs> so this is what it's like. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so is it, where did this idea come from, Derek? Okay, well, the, the whole thing grew out of uh, the start of the, uh, the coronavirus pandemic, and it was the brainchild of a couple of airline captains and a senior professor in one of the uh, London hospitals to uh, potentially bring together uh, all the skills that uh, airline crew have for uh, dealing with people, uh, for talking with them, and also to, to be able to serve them uh, with a first-class service, and uh, to bring that service you know, straight into the hospitals where people were working in a very high-stress situation, particularly in the early days of the pandemic. And uh, the project has grown and grown and grown from there on in. And although we have just launched the, the lounge here at James Cook, um, we are actually the 55th or so lounge that has been launched in the country. All right. um, there are lounges all over the country that have been running for a number of months and hopefully will continue to do so uh, as the whole project evolves. So, so what's in there, Derek? I mean, what's in this, uh, this lounge for, for the staff? It is a nice, quiet place for uh, the staff to come to take 10 to 15 minutes away from their work, um, which provides them with a relaxing, ple relaxing, pleasant place. Nice surroundings. We serve them with tea, coffee and snacks, uh, which come from all sorts of places. And uh, the crucial and unique factor that uh, the Wingman Lounges bring is conversation that uh, allows, the opportunity to, uh, allows the staff the opportunity to switch off from their daily routine for just a short period. Now, and, I wonder, I that, wonder, that really is it. Yeah. I wonder what those conversations are. I mean, do they actually, do they, they want to talk about anything other than what they've been doing all day? Is that the main focus when they go in there is to stop talking about COVID and talk about something else like football or, I don't know, sewing or craft or anything? Absolutely, yes. There are all sorts of conversations that go on. And I mean, and the vast majority of them, particularly, particularly at the moment, are uh, just basically, you know, just general sort of chatting. We get a lot of questions asked about when, when can we go on holiday and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we get some more in-depth questions. But the, uh, certainly once the lounges have been running, and I've, I've been, I was involved with another lounge before the one here at James Cook, and uh, what, what we've found with all the lounges is once they've been in operation for a week or two and faces start to become familiar, then uh, our uniform, because we all uh, you know, uh, are here in our, airport, in our airline uniforms, um, the uniform uh, becomes a, a bit of a trust gate between uh, us and the staff. And uh, what, what has been experienced, certainly in other hospitals, are the staff open about all sorts of issues um, you know, that have affected them. And, uh, of course, one of the great skills that our, our crews have, whether they're pilots or, or cabin crew, are uh, we're trained in listening and human interaction skills. Let's speak to Jenny Winard now, who is the Director of Education and Organisational Development at South Tees NHS Foundation Trust. Jenny, uh, I can imagine that uh, much of the staff are, are, are loving this. Is it being put to, to great use already, Jenny? 
It is, yes. It's fantastic. I mean, today we've had 102 of our staff through um, and the staff are really appreciating the ability to take the time out to come and to be served, to have tea, coffee, cake and to have that ability, just as Derek was saying, to be able to talk maybe about what they've seen through COVID or where they are now as, as things are coming back to more of a, a normal, but also where we've still got patients who are, are very poorly across the trust. So it's been really well taken and we're planning that it, it will roll out from James Cook as well. So we'll be down at the Friar Ridge and we're looking at our community hospitals so that we can spread this little bit of this first class land, Anthony, across all of our South Tea staff who've worked so hard over the last few months. How long is it there, Jenny? And uh, is this a permanent fixture now or is this uh, like uh, something that moves around or, or is it there for quite a while? So we're incredibly lucky at the moment because within the Strive Academic Centre, we have a fantastic common room for our medical students. And of course, the medical students, it's, it's university holiday time. So at the moment, we're hosting Project Wingman within the common room. Um, but we are looking at other venues around the Trust, for example, going into theatres. We're hoping that they'll be with us until at least September. But once the students are back, um, if Project Wingman still want to come and support us, then we will find them other places within the Trust because it's being so beneficial official for our staff to be able to come and talk. Jenny, Derek, thank you for your time this afternoon. It's quarter to five.